plugging into the future, electric car sales in Tasmania are powering up. People are now starting to realise the benefits of electric vehicles, so that education has finally started to catch up. They're getting more affordable and more accessible, so we're seeing a lot more come into the market. New data shows that electric vehicle registrations in Tasmania almost doubled over a 12-month period. Battery electric vehicles accounting for 10% of new vehicle sales in the second quarter of this year. Converts quick to outline the benefits. Taking my vehicle as an example, I've owned it for 18 months now and if I was still driving my Mazda 6, I would have put about $9,000 worth of petrol into it and I've put about $900 worth of electricity into it. But while there's growth, overall EV numbers are still low. Only 2,500 of the state's 700,000 registered vehicles are electric. Advocates say more charging stations and government incentives are needed to drive the state forwards. In the ACT, for example, they're at 20% uptake and they have things like no interest loans, which are means tested and it really helps bridge that equity gap as well. One of the impediments uh, to seeing more EVs coming into Australia is we don't have the fuel standards. When you see that, you'll see more EVs and more low emission vehicles. Another impediment has been cost, but prices are starting to come down. There are plenty of opportunities emerging in the second-hand EV market, and we've also got the government incentivising um, lease purchase of, of, of EVs at the moment, which again is going to drive more availability at a lower cost in the second-hand market. I would say in the next five years we turn around here and the majority of the cars we'd be looking at would be EVs rather than, than ICE petrol vehicles. The government says it has committed $1.2 million towards financial incentives. Meg Whitfield, ABC News.